Assalamu alaikum guys, Ramadan Kareem. So today I want to show you some of the things that I really love about my Jordanian home um, and things that I just think are really cool. One of the first things that a foreigner will notice when they come to an Arabic home is that you come in through the front door straight into a guest area. This means that everything is completely separated. Your guests come in and they don't have to come into your home. They don't have to kind of see the private side of your life. We've got our little guest area here for when our guests come and it's actually completely separated. So it's got its own bathroom here and the rest of the house it's like a new front door, like a whole separate front door to the rest of the house. It's completely private, completely separate, even with a lock. I love that. I think that's fantastic. It's, really, it's not meant to be messy. Um, but yeah, I think that's a really cool, cool thing. And as well, so you've got your own bathroom here and you've always got usually a nicer pair of slippers than that, but you've always got a pair of slippers outside the bathroom door because you take off your shoes when you come in through the front door. Um, usually, I mean, guests, tend to wear their shoes inside anyway because they're guests and you keep it in the in the in the guest area but still they take off their shoes they put on their slippers and they enter the bathroom and it's all completely clean and hygienic i think that's very sensible another thing is that you see these floors we've got these beautiful um like whatever material floor this is but they're really cold they're really easy to clean um, they keep really cool in the summer, they're really cold in the winter, um, but the main thing is that you can clean them really easily um, just by throwing water down and then um, you scrape it off using um, like, a, it's like kind of like a mop, it's like a, it's like a scrapey thing and you scrape all of that down a drain hole and there's a hole in um, every bathroom or every kitchen um, and some just wherever there's a water source you'll find one of these drainage holes. Typically people won't have a lot of carpets in their homes, we have carpets in our bedrooms. I actually don't like carpets at all because they get really dirty so I'm not a big fan whereas this you clean the floor every single day and it's, it just stays immaculate and then you have rugs so with rugs you can pick them up and you can take them outside and you can wash them and dry them in the sun and that means you can be washing them every couple of months and they stay really really clean i mean how sensible is that so you know you can have like a proper makeover all the time another thing that i want to come to is the windows the windows here are huge not like british windows tiny little pokey rooms and tiny little windows mind them they're not clean but wait for it Okay, you can only see half there. That's a really big window. Um, I'm gonna struggle to do this one-handed, but... <sighs> right. Another quality of these windows is that they are made out of metal, like some kind of, some kind of metal there. And that means that, yeah, it's not fantastic at insulating in the winter, but you also don't have to worry about rot. So it's it's very kind of practical in that sense, you know. British windows are the window the the window frames are always usually wooden. Um a lot of people do have plastic and double glazing and things like that, but a lot of houses have got wooden wooden frames and the wooden frames get rotten and things. Another thing about this that I think is really good is that the the windows slide they slide across, they don't open out. You see there's no hinges there. They slide open with a little lock here, Ugh. like that, okay? So that means that the wind can never pull your window off the hinges, which sounds really weird, but like it can be a bit of a problem with if you've got really like sudden gusts of wind like we have in the UK and your window's wide open on a hinge and it can just be like ripped off the hinge or it can damage the, the hinge at least. I think that's really good. Next thing, I'm building up to it. The next thing that is just fantastic. It, can't do it one handed. Right, you probably can't see it, but here. That is a mosquito net that you can open, but they're built in. They're built in and they're on every single window. And you know, obviously we've got a problem here with mosquitoes and bugs and different things. Um, you get a lot of them in the summer, like we don't have as much in the UK, and you get cockroaches as well. But that solves that problem. I think that's a fantastic idea. It's just as standard, it's no questions asked. Every house has got mosquito nets built in, in the windows. 
And final thing, I'm rambling on about windows, but honestly guys, the windows here are pretty cool. This. Ah, oh, it's broken. <laughs> okay, I'll show you a different one. Anticlimax, okay. Let's go back here again. This, here, holds up here in this box, a shutter. Another built-in device, it's the shutter. And I pull it from down here, and look at that. Built-in blackout blinds. Cool, huh? It's amazing if you are having a dust storm, which we often have here. It's not a sandstorm, it's a dust storm, it's slightly different. And you can just block out everything, um, block out all that horrible burning hot sun in the summer, um, try and stay cool. And then when you want them open, you just pull them up like that. And those also come as standard in all houses, as far as I'm aware. I think that's just so cool. If you wanna see more videos about things that are just awesome about living in Jordan and apartments and life and things in general, then, then please tell me and I will do some more of these videos. Shukran, ma salame, Ramadan Kareem. Bye bye. Say bye bye, bye bye. Yeah.